Sweden may not be the first country people associate with sixth-generation fighter jets, but its quiet influence on modern air combat is undeniable. Through Saab and decades of advanced aerospace innovation, Sweden has consistently punched above its weight in military aviation. While the country has not officially announced a sixth-generation fighter program like the United States or the UK, Swedish defense planners and engineers are actively researching next-generation air combat concepts. These ideas focus on survivability, networked warfare, and adaptability rather than brute force. Understanding Sweden's approach provides valuable insight into how future air combat may evolve globally, Unlike traditional military powers, Sweden follows a defensive strategy shaped by geography, limited resources, and the need for rapid response. This mindset heavily influences its future fighter concepts. Instead of building massive, expensive aircraft fleets, Sweden emphasizes smart design, digital integration, and operational flexibility. These priorities align closely with sixth-generation fighter principles being explored worldwide. Swedish engineers are studying how future aircraft could operate alongside drones, share real-time data, and remain effective in highly contested airspace. This practical, cost-efficient philosophy could shape the next era of air combat in ways larger nations are beginning to appreciate that a key reason Sweden's sixth-generation thinking draws attention is Saab's experience with advanced fighter development. The Gripen program proved that cutting-edge avionics, electronic warfare, and sensor fusion can be achieved without extreme costs. Saab's open architecture systems allow rapid upgrades, a concept central to future fighters. Rather than locking hardware and software for decades, Sweden's vision favors continuous evolution. This approach reflects lessons learned from modern conflicts, where adaptability often matters more than raw performance. In a sixth-generation environment, the ability to quickly update systems could decide air superiority. Point one of the most important elements in Sweden's future fighter research is electronic warfare dominance. Swedish aircraft have long prioritized jamming, deception, and sensor disruption. In sixth-generation air combat, these capabilities may become more decisive than speed or maneuverability. Sweden's concepts focus on surviving against advanced air defenses by confusing enemy sensors rather than simply avoiding them. This reflects a broader shift in air warfare, where controlling the electromagnetic spectrum is just as critical as controlling the skies. Future Swedish fighters would likely excel in environments saturated with radar, missiles, and digital threats, another major focus is man-on-man -man teaming. Sweden has openly discussed future fighters operating alongside autonomous or semi-autonomous drones. These systems could scout ahead, jam enemy radars, or even carry weapons, reducing risk to human pilots. Rather than replacing pilots, Swedish doctrine envisions humans as mission commanders supported by intelligent systems. This aligns with US and NATO thinking on collaborative combat aircraft. Sweden's experience integrating data links and networked warfare makes it well positioned to contribute to this shift, reinforcing its relevance in future multinational air operations. Stealth remains a critical but carefully balanced factor in Sweden's concepts. Unlike countries pursuing extreme low observable designs, Sweden appears focused on smart stealth. This means reducing detection while relying heavily on electronic warfare and tactical flexibility. Complete invisibility is unrealistic and expensive, especially for a smaller defense budget. Swedish engineers instead prioritize survivability through a combination of reduced signatures, active countermeasures, and advanced situational awareness. This realistic approach acknowledges that future air combat will involve detection, but winning will depend on who controls the engagement after detection occurs. Artificial intelligence plays a growing role in Sweden's vision of future air combat. AI assisted decision making could help pilots manage overwhelming amounts of data from sensors, drones, and allied forces. Rather than autonomous combat decisions, Swedish thinking emphasizes human controlled AI support. This ensures ethical control while improving reaction time and mission efficiency. In sixth-generation warfare, seconds matter, 
and AI could help pilots prioritize threats instantly. Sweden's strong software engineering culture gives it an advantage in developing these systems, even without a publicly announced sixth-generation aircraft, interoperability with NATO forces is another driving factor behind Sweden's future fighter concepts. As a newer NATO member, Sweden is aligning its defense planning with allied standards. Future Swedish aircraft concepts emphasize seamless data sharing with US and European systems. This ensures Swedish fighters could integrate into larger coalition air campaigns. Sixth-generation air combat will be highly networked, with no single aircraft operating alone. Sweden's focus on compatibility rather than isolation makes its approach strategically relevant far beyond its own borders, cost efficiency remains central to Sweden's defense philosophy. Sixth-generation programs are notoriously expensive, and Sweden is unlikely to pursue a standalone aircraft development without international cooperation. Instead, Swedish research may feed into joint European or transatlantic projects. By contributing expertise in sensors, software, and electronic warfare, Sweden can influence future fighter designs without carrying the full financial burden. This collaborative strategy mirrors how modern defense development increasingly works, through shared innovation rather than isolated national programs, importantly, Sweden's secret sixth-generation concept is not about secrecy in the traditional sense. Rather, it reflects ongoing research, simulations, and technology demonstrations that are not packaged into a single public program. This quiet development style allows flexibility without political pressure. Many of today's most impactful military technologies began as internal studies rather than public announcements. Sweden's approach suggests long-term thinking rather than headline-driven defense policy, a trait that has served its Air Force well for decades, comparing Sweden's ideas with U.S. sixth-generation efforts highlights interesting contrasts. While the U.S. focuses on global power projection, Sweden prioritizes homeland defense and regional stability. Yet both approaches converge on similar technologies, AI, networking, unmanned systems, and electronic warfare. This shows that future air combat principles are universal, regardless of national strategy. Sweden's contribution lies in proving that advanced air power does not always require massive budgets, smart integration can deliver comparable effectiveness in specific operational contexts, modern conflicts have reinforced many of Sweden's assumptions about air combat. The increasing vulnerability of aircraft to advanced air defenses underscores the need for flexibility and electronic dominance. Sweden's concepts reflect lessons from Ukraine and other theaters, where drones, sensors, and information warfare play decisive roles. Sixth-generation fighters will not operate in isolation but as part of a larger combat ecosystem. Sweden's long-standing emphasis on dispersed operations and survivability fits well within this emerging reality, looking ahead, Sweden's influence on sixth-generation air combat may be more subtle than dramatic. Rather than unveiling a single revolutionary aircraft, Sweden is shaping the ideas that define how future fighters operate. Its emphasis on adaptability, networked warfare, and cost-effective innovation offers a realistic model for smaller nations navigating an increasingly complex threat environment. These principles may quietly shape allied aircraft designs, doctrines, and procurement decisions over the coming decades. I in the end, Sweden's secret sixth-generation fighter concept represents a mindset more than a machine. It reflects a belief that future air dominance will come from intelligence, integration, and flexibility rather than sheer size or speed. As air combat evolves, Sweden's approach offers a compelling alternative to traditional power projection models. Whether through partnerships or independent innovation, Sweden's ideas will likely play a meaningful role in shaping the future of air warfare, proving that influence does not always require visibility.